What is a fluid head on a tripod? So you've probably experienced it. You're out taking some photos with your regular photo tripod and something interesting appears that you want to record on video. What then occurs as you attempt to follow the subject can only be described as the earthquake effect and you'd probably bet you've never seen so much jitter in your life. So how is smooth video tracking possible? One answer to this is a video fluid head. This is a head made for tripods or monopods with a fluid inside which creates a drag whilst panning or tilting. You get many different variants of fluid heads on the market. Fluid-like systems use friction from washers inside the head to smooth the movements. These are not true fluid heads and are generally the cheapest. This is the tripod head for the hobbyist that doesn't want to stretch the budget. Fluid base monopods have a fluid cartridge in the base of the monopod. This allows smooth horizontal movement whilst remaining very portable. These are ideal for places where space is limited. For example, in the Notre Dame Cathedral in Paris, you're not allowed to use a tripod inside, but you would still be able to get away with a monopod. The negatives with a monopod system would be that it is not as stable as a tripod, and unless you have a fluid head, vertical tilting could be jittery. True fluid heads can range massively in price, from high-end professional models like the O'Connor range, which can be in the tens of thousands, to semi-professional high-quality models like the Manfrotto 502, which costs about 150 euros. A few things to take note of when looking for a fluid head would be the fluid drag system, whether it uses a fluid for resistance or friction, tension control, so you can adjust the panning and tilting tension, counterbalance, so the camera will stay in a position you leave it in without needing to lock it, the weight, heavier fluid heads can handle heavier cameras, and the handle length. The longer the handle is, the easier it will be to make slight movements. Although this one can be worked around by sliding a pipe over the handle to extend its length. Personally, I'd recommend the Econo 2575D for anyone starting out in video. It's a bit pricey at 13,000, but you do get free shipping. Anyway, I hope this video has been helpful. If so, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more tech-related videos like this one. I'm David, and I'm going to see you in the next one. Ciao.